Hey guys, and welcome to your 11th C Sharp tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking to you a lot about methods and the different types of methods. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is void methods versus return methods. Now, um, a void method doesn't return anything, obviously, because it's not a return method, but a void method just does some action, and whenever you send a parameter down here, it doesn't throw anything back. A return method will actually, re when you call the return method, it will send the parameters down, it'll throw that football to the wide receiver, but with a return method, the wide receiver is a weirdo and tries to throw the football back to the quarterback so that the quarterback can do something with it because the wide receiver is lazy basically. Um, it's a really good analogy I guess but it doesn't actually ever happen. Um, so um, that's basically the same thing and I'm gonna go ahead and type out the rest of this code so that um, and so that you can kinda see what the main difference is because I wanted you to watch me type out how I did this console.write line because whenever you call the the difference between calling a return method versus calling a um, void method is kind of a big deal so let's go ahead and do uh, calc dot addition one and then let's do that's not good five comma five that's a five and then do calc dot addition two five comma five let's just do the same thing I like that okay console dot okay whoa okay so the reason I had to do these differently is because a void method if I tried to print out a void method it would literally see like console dot right line calc dot addition one if I had done this addition one it would literally try to print out it would try to do a console dot right line of console dot right line and that just that's just stupid and it doesn't work obviously but whenever I do a return method what it's gonna do is it's gonna take this is this quarterback here he's gonna throw the football to the wide receiver then the wide receiver is gonna take that football make the touchdown and write something on that football and in this case he's gonna write the number 10 on the football and then he's gonna throw the football back so that um, console.write line can display that little football which is the number 10 on the screen of our computer so um, that's why that does that but calc.addition you can't print that out like I said because it's a void method and it's literally gonna do a try to do a console dot console line of a console dot line if I put this within a console dot line statement like I did with this one and the reason I can't just do calc.addition like this do calc dot addition to five comma five is because it's gonna send down these number the number five and five like our football guy it's gonna he's gonna the wide receiver is going to write the number ten on that football and throw it back but when he throws it back our computer is not going to have any idea, the quarterback's not going to have any idea what to do with it because you didn't tell him to do anything with it. And so that's why you can't do that. And for some reason I didn't get an error, I don't really know why. Hmm. That's supposed to give me an error. But again, it didn't, it didn't do anything with it anyways, so... I guess that's a thing with C-sharp, it doesn't, it doesn't give you an error, it just doesn't do anything. Um... So that's the difference between return, one of the differences between return and void. Another difference is the keywords that you use in the method call. Now since these both say public static, I'm just going to totally ignore those for the moment. And obviously a void statement, a void method uses the word void, but a return statement always um, has the return value in its heading, its header. So if I wanted this to return a double, I would do public static double. And does it give me an error? I hope I guess not. No. 
Um, public static double still returns 10. But if I did like public static float, I don't know if that would give me an error or not. It might not. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, that's cool. Um, and so you just return, but if I did like public static car, that's not going to work because you can't return an int. Can't cannot even implicitly convert type int to a car. Um, an implicit version exists, and it says, "Are you missing a cast?" I know that's outside of the window, but um, that um, let's just it says, "Are you missing a cast?" But that's type casting, and I'm not. I'm going to talk about that later. That's something that is really, really useful as well. Um, so let's change this back to int because I like ints. Anyways, okay. So now I'm going to pause this for a second and change up some of my methods down here in my calc class so that I can demonstrate to you the difference between public and private um, and some other things. All right, I am back. And what I did here was I took out that console.writeLine statement because now both of these are void because I just want to demonstrate the difference between public and private. And you may have already noticed that I have an error up here, and I'm actually going to tell you what it is before I show you what it is. I declared this one as public. When I call it, it says, okay, it's public. I can access that. I can use it all I want because it's public. It's open to the public. Um, it's basically like a, a class whore. He is a, a whorey method, slutty. He, he, he just, she, I guess, whatever. He, she. Guys can be whores, can't they? Um, it's like, you can use me all you want. But this one here, no, he's pretty secure, and he does not want people messing with him. He is private. He is only accessible within his own class. So if I wrote another method down here called like private static void addition three, and then in that method I put addition two, then it would let me do it. But it can't. So right now I'm going to tell you that this says it, it's a private is inaccessible method stop calc dot addition to int int is inaccessible due to its protection level because I called it private. Um, that is the difference between a public and private method. And now, um, I think I'm done for now, but in the next tutorial I'm going to make an object. I'm going to show you how to declare an object, and I'm going to make a, the third type of uh, make the next two types. There's basically three types of of methods you can make in a class, and that's a static method, a object method, and this is this is totally disregarding the return slash void slash public slash private thing. Um, static method, an object method, and a constructor, which is a constructor is something you need for a class if it doesn't have a main method in it. And um, so I'm just gonna let you guys go, and we'll talk about that when I make my next tutorial.